Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Callen here with an update on what's going on in the tropics. All eyes still on what is now Tropical Storm Helene. Finally got that upgrade from a potential tropical cyclone to a full blown tropical storm this morning. Winds at 45 miles per hour. Notice it's moving to the northwest right now, so we're not seeing a northward movement or a northeast movement. It is moving in this direction towards the tip of the Yucatan. Right now, the forecast does take this right through the Yucatan channel here. That uh, stretch of water that goes between the western tip of Cuba and the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula here where Cancun is. We'll see if that happens. There are some models though that do bring the storm maybe over the tip of the Yucatan for a few hours before it takes that northeast turn. But bottom line, it is going to take that northeast turn and it is going to stay away from us here in southeast Texas. So by tomorrow morning, we do expect this to be a category one hurricane as it makes that close brush with the Yucatan. From there, it takes that northeastward movement and really starts to strengthen. Notice from Wednesday evening, to Thursday morning, we could jump two categories to a major category three hurricane, and it maintains that strength then on approach to either the big bend here of Florida, the panhandle, or potentially even the Tampa Bay area. So a lot of possibilities still on the table, but the strength does look concerning, still expected again to be a category three storm by landfall Thursday evening. So this is future track. This is one of those models that does take the storm over the Cancun area as we get towards tomorrow morning. So again, notice Wednesday, uh, we see this uh, pretty well-defined circulation, a little lopsided though. Notice a lot more rain here on the east side. So the storm is dealing with a little bit of shear, which also may help to limit its strength before it moves into to the Yucatan. But from there, once it gets into the Gulf, it starts to consolidate. We see a little more symmetry here. And then it is off to the races as it makes its approach towards Florida. And it does start to accelerate as well. Uh, and as this storm starts to move faster, uh, it's also going to compound those wind threats, right? So the faster the storm moves, you add that forward movement to the wind speeds. And so the west coast of Florida here really going to take a lashing with wind and with storm surge as we get into the day on Thursday. So a very impactful storm for a lot of folks in Florida, even if they're not taking a direct hit. Everywhere from south, uh, southwest Florida going all the way into the nature coast and the panhandle. Widespread impacts, again, from flooding, from storm surge, from wind, and even a tornado threat here across the peninsula itself, whereas it looks like the direct hit will be somewhere here along that big bend coast getting into the panhandle. Uh, and so this is going to be Thursday again. And for us on the backside, we actually see really nice weather coming in. And the reason and for that is a cold front. So here are the steering currents. We've got high pressure in the Atlantic. That's nudging the storm to keep it off of the Florida Peninsula. And then the low pressure here, this is the cold front that will come through our area here in southeast Texas. And as that digs through the south, that is going to push this storm and deflect it to the east. That totally closes the uh, option off for this storm to make that left turn. So that is not a possibility at all. This will continue here up the eastern Gulf and then eventually somewhere into Florida as we get to Thursday. And all of the model plots support that as well. Each one of these white lines here indicates a different model solution. So we take all the computer models, we, we tweak the equations a little bit, and so we get a different result each time, and all of them have some sort of path that takes it in this direction. But again, everyone from the Panhandle through Big Bend getting down to Tampa Bay is going to have to watch this storm very carefully because there's still a decently sized envelope of possibilities even though the black line or the consensus line is tight and takes it into the panhandle. So here's the bottom line with this storm. We are expecting hurricane strength as we get to tomorrow. Impacts will be felt across much of Florida before we see that landfall late Thursday. This is a reminder that we are still at the busiest part of hurricane season. And even though we are dodging a bullet here in Southeast Texas, we still have to be on guard as we go through the next few months.